So a quick recap of prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells are the two major cell types. Both types of cells can be unicellular. You'll only see multicellular organisms in the eukaryotic cell type because they have a little bit more complexity that allows them to build up into the multicellular structures like tissues and organs and organ systems. Both have ribosomes. Ribosomes are so essential to cells because they are able to link amino acids together to form proteins and you have to have proteins for things like enzyme action and we really need enzymes for life to exist. So ribosomes are essential. They are found in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. You see all of the membrane-bound organelles that we talked about, those specialized organelles that are often in a single or double membrane, those are only in the eukaryotic cells. Sometimes prokaryotes use some membrane divisions so that they can conduct things that are similar to photosynthesis or cellular respiration as we know them, but only eukaryotes have the membrane-bound organelles that we've been learning about. DNA is found in both. You've got to have genetic material in cells. It's part of what makes a cell a cell, but where and how it's found is a little bit different. Prokaryotes have a ring-like chromosome, and it's found in a region called the nucleoid. And in eukaryotes, we have rod-like chromosomes, and they're contained inside a double membrane, and that structure is called the nucleus. Prokaryotes are smaller, eukaryotes have a lot more going on, they're larger. Both can have cell walls. Eukaryotes, you see them in fungi and in plants. Prokaryotes, you see them in a lot of different bacteria with slightly different chemical compositions, but you're going to see cell walls in both cell types. You'll see flagella in both cell types used for movement. You'll also see in prokaryotes extensions of the cell membrane called pili, which they use to stick and adhere to things. And in eukaryotes, you'll see extensions that are cytoskeleton based, but they're called cilia, and they are little hair like productions that can also be used to move things outside the cell or to move the cell through its environment. Prokaryotes divide by a process called binary fission, where you, whereas eukaryotes divide by a process called meiosis, which we're going to be learning about later on. Big, big key thing here that's easy to forget. They're cells. They both have cell membranes. The, the membrane is so important that often textbooks give the cell membrane its own chapter to describe the semi-permeability of the membrane and all the components of the fluid mosaic. All of those things we talk about are in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. They have fluid cell membranes made of a phospholipid bilayer. So you'll see prokaryotes as the archaea or bacteria. You'll see eukaryotes in domain eukarya, which includes the animals, plants, protists, and fungi.